Hi, this is Tisharia, and welcome to my channel. This is another edition of Scars and Stretching, where we just get up at any part of the day, morning, noon, or night, or nap time, or whatever have you, and get up and do some stretching, get some moving around. Okay, so you don't have to have a scarf on, you can have a, a bonnet, a do rag, or nothing at all, and just come stretch with us. Get that blood circulating, toxins, removing those toxins from your muscles, and and if you drink plenty of water, it helps, you know, just flush all of that out. So anyway, today I wanted to talk to you about obesity. <clears throat> so I, and this channel is focused on the fact that, look at this, check this out. The prevalence of obesity was 42.2 .2 in 2017 to 2018. It rose from 1999 to 2000 through 2017 to 2018 from 30.5 to 42.5. Guess who is the greatest affected? Non-Hispanic Blacks at 49.6% had the highest age-adjusted prevalence of obesity, followed by Hispanics, 44.8% percent non-hispanic whites 42.2 and non-hispanic asians 17.4 okay so this is um from the cdc and you know of course we're not we won't have 100 percent accuracy for anything but nevertheless that is so scary Okay, so that's why we're here, getting started doing something. This stretching leads to some cardio, and a little cardio leads to strength training, and a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Good ha eating habits, prayer, meditation, whatever that, you know, helps magnify your life. Okay, so that's what I'm here for, to help, encourage, and also hold myself accountable during my own journey. And I really appreciate each and every one of you for joining me. Okay, and before we get into the stretching, this is my question for the day. One of the things that I pledge to myself is to learn something new each and every day. And so I chose to start with world geography. So during this 60 day challenge, I'm learning something new about the world. About the world. Um, so the name of this South American country means little Venice in, in Italian. What country is it? Ecuador, Venezuela, or Mexico? We'll find out the, the answer to the question at the end of the video. All right, let's get moving. Let's get stretching. I kind of like doing a little bit of um, more warm up before I just stretch that little cold muscle. Uh oh, they switching up the song on me. I'm still keep moving, still keep moving, still keep moving and grooving. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. And this is supposed to have help with those. I want, I want to say bat wings or this part here, but one of my friends suggested it. And um. So I'm trying this out. Let's go. One, two, three. We have dentist appointments today. And so, yeah, hopefully they both do fine. And I have my appointment on Wednesday. Second. Time out for self-care. Got to make sure everybody is well all around. Other appointments tomorrow. Get everything in. Because before you know it, school will be starting over. And I'm, we don't know if it's going to be virtual or not. So. I always want to start with my arms. And I forget that I have to do my push-ups. I got to have to do that. So I'm gonna give my arms a little rest. We're gonna start our stretch. Okay, let's body roll. One, two, and we're trying just to move the hips. See, I have to catch myself. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's go the other way. And just move the hips. Squeeze that core. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And remember, you do things that are good for your body. I recommend um, while I'm doing that, I'm a, while I'm giving my little speech, I'm gonna do my um, what do I call that? I forget what I call them. We're gonna squeeze in and out, in and out, in and out. Stretching has really helped me improve my posture as well. Anyway, so yes, if you have not had a physical, schedule it. Even if it has to be for later on, if you don't feel safe going in, just make sure you put it on the calendar. Um, you know, just to, if it's not anything but blood work, because blood work don't lie, not a lot of people are skeptical of doctors now, but yeah, okay, so I'll go down. Find, some, find one you trust and go get you an appointment if you have to. Because a lot of things may seem scarier than they are. However, if you are aware of them, then you can better take precaution and uh, corrective action while they while it, it may still be correctable. getting a little bit more cardio in here. reach for the stars and if you grab the moon you something whatever it is, whatever it is it gotta be good <laughs> Breathe in 
when we breathe in, just think about what it takes to be your best you. Breathe that in and breathe out anything holding you back from being your best you. Okay. I think that's something that we take for granted is the breath that we, that breath that we are privileged, privileged to have because somebody didn't wake up this morning and had the same privilege. Okay. And uh, when I do these stretches, I do it two ways, one with my feet toward me and the other out because it give me a completely different stretch. Oh, this is so good. Even if I'm going down, I want to go down with my core. Like, ab first and down. But if you have back problems, then you have may need to do it completely different. You have to accommodate your own body. Okay. And I just have, I have a degenerative disc disease or disorder, something I don't know. And um, I have periodic sciatic nerve pain um, due to this uh, I slipped and fell at a storage place years back. And every now and then I still have, you know, pain. So, you know, life happens. But the key for me with the sciatic nerve pain is to keep my lower body stretched because even the ankle is connected from the feet, feet, feet to lower back. And I found that that's key. It may not be key for you, but it's something you can investigate. And if you believe in chiropractic practices, find a good chiropractor and um, it may make the difference for you. Now yeah, that's one another appointment that we need to we have as well. It helps with uh, it can help with bladder problems, just overall balance and posture. So yeah, whole health. What I'm about. Everything doesn't necessarily require a pill. And if you're taking a pill for pain, what are you doing for the underlying root cause of that pain? Okay, because what pain pill does is, okay, so it blocks a nerve, right? Let's say it blocks a nerve, if it's a nerve blocker. Um, like, I, I can just say it, it, it slows down how your body naturally process or heals itself. So, Oh, that is such a good stretch. I just had to stay there for a minute. Anyway, so, yeah, just be mindful of those things when you're putting different things in our... We, we have to be mindful of those things when we're putting different things in our bodies because it's compromising our natural healing abilities. So, yeah, sometimes you can heal yourself through prayer and meditation, and sometimes you have to take other measures. And I'm not against medical care. Like I said, I recommend people see a physician. But um, there's other times where you can just, you know, make healthier habits or create healthier habits or continue healthier habits. But it requires a lot of discipline and a lot of love for yourself for you to realize, hey, I am important. This this is going to make my life better. Oh, this is a wonderful stretch. Okay, plank time. With a 40 something percent, that's almost half. Half of Americans are obese, 40 something percent. Encourage someone to start doing something about it. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty. I just realized that I could be on here saying, "Hey, seek, go to get a." consult a physician if I hadn't done so myself and for my entire family. Can't be a hypocrite. So I've done so. My came out good. Um, my kidney <clears throat> numbers were a little bit high. White blood cells a little bit high. But other than that, but the doctor wasn't concerned, so that's the main priority. I'm just look, looking deeper into the numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and read the Answer to the question and then do my squats. So the question was, the name of this South American country means little Venus in Italian. What country is it? A, Ecuador, B, Venezuela, or C, Mexico? The answer is Venezuela. And the literacy rate is 95.5. The life expectancy, 74.4. It says, Venezuela abolished slavery 11 years before it was abolished in the United States. Hmm. And I think the capital is pronounced Caracas. Look at me learning some new words. Stop. Okay. I'm telling you, I am learning. I'm loving learning again. Like, I would just read, I, I was in a, a phase where I was reading novels, then I got into some documentaries, then went into some, like, quote-unquote self-help kind of books, then went back into documentaries. So I'm all over the place. I have, like, two or three books started at one time around here, some places. Sometimes I sit over here and read, sometimes I sit in my bed, so I have books over there and my desk, all over the place. So let's go. But reading is important to keep your mind sharp. Because um, as you get older, you know, it will your mind will start to deteriorate naturally in some cases. Okay, so let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So let's breathe. Breathe in prosperity, love, motivation. Breathe out, hesitation. Mm. 
I want to thank each and every one of you for watching once again. It's on and popping each and every day, scarves and stretching. At some point in the day, I got to make time. And I do each and every day. So put, continue to like, comment, and subscribe. And please share this video with someone. There at least, if there is 40 something percent of Americans that are obese, we can share this with one person that can benefit from it. Benefit from either the continued encouragement, support, or brand new support to get started doing something each and every day. Click the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. I appreciate you watching and thanks so very much. Bye, y'all.